accurately date when the stone was formed. Because we only need a few milligrams of that from as much as possible and get all that out of there. Gracie wanted to sit out there and visit the puppies for a minute. This turns it from a solid into a charm. They're not messing with her now. I'm going to pour the acid over here and it's going to sit by this foam up. What? The CO2 gas passes through this um. liquid nitrogen at more than 300 degrees below zero. The Bears kissing her. Graphite is 100% carbon, so we've gotten rid of everything else. The machine that does the actual digging is called the Accelerator Mass Spectrometer. That bear is twice as big as crazy. This machine is going to take the carbon that we've extracted from the beach rock and we're going to measure that carbon at the atomic level. Crazy! The science team crazy. will then be able to definitively date the Bimini Road Wedgestone. Crazy! And determine if it is old enough to be part of the life. The expedition team is headed to its second dive site, called the Rectangles. Sonar images of the site show what appear to be evenly spaced formations on the sea floor. If they can find evidence that these formations are building structures, it could prove that there was a lost civilization in the Bahamas. The formations on the sonar sit 90 feet below the surface. The major significance of the rectangular form of 90 feet of is that they sit right on the edge, just above the 10,000 BC shoreline. And if Atlantis existed in 10,000 BC, as Plato said, and as Edgar Cayce said, the place you're going to find the remains of Atlantis is just above the shoreline in 10,000 BC, and that is where these structures are. Scientists agree that sea levels in 10,000 BC are lower than they are today. All right, it's very far back, I see. This rectangular formation is just 10 feet above sea level at the ancient coastline. The sonar shows the rectangles are between 10 and 15 feet wide. These look about the size of storage buildings of stone storage buildings that you might build just above a shoreline. So when you're moving cargo off of boats, you have some building. Okay, Charlie, now we get some action. So it's a very promising archaeological site. The team will be diving directly into the Gulf Stream, which contains a powerful, swift, right, bye -bye. And dangerous current.